Hey guys, this is Zaman and welcome back to another fresh new video of PowerPoint School. Today I will show you how to make this exact animated slide in just PowerPoint. Please try to watch this video till the end. So without wasting any further time, let's start our today's tutorial. Here you can see I have already taken a blank slide. So first pick a hollow circle holding Ctrl Shift from your keyboard, drag it over here. Drag this yellow dot to make it thinner. Then pick a rectangle shape. Drag it over here, place it in the middle of this hollow circle, press Ctrl D to duplicate this rectangle, place it over the previous one, holding the shift key, drag it to rotate, press Ctrl D again and rotate, press Ctrl D and rotate. In the same way we have to make a few more copy of this rectangle and we'll get something like this. Press Ctrl A to select all of them. Holding the control button, make sure you deselect this hollow circle, then go to format from merge shape, select union. It will actually convert all these rectangles into a single shape. Now what I'll do, holding the control button, select this two, I mean the hollow circle and the union shape and select fragment from merge shape. Now from here, what I'll do, holding the control button, I'll select only these six pieces of shapes and I'll keep them aside. I'll select all these and press the delete button from your keyboard. Now select only these shapes, place them over here, go to format from shape fill. I'll pick this color from shape outline, select no outline. So we are done with the first tape. Now what I'll do to move forward, I'll pick another hollow circle, drag it over here. And please remember it will be better if we make this hollow circle almost as same as before. So I'll keep it over here, pick a oval shape holding Ctrl Shift, drag it over here to make a perfect circle, place it in the middle of this hollow circle, go to format from shape fill, give a different color, from shape outline select no outline, then press Ctrl D to make a duplicate one, from shape fill change this color to white, holding Ctrl Shift make it a smaller one, place it here in the middle. Then we need to pick a triangle shape, drag it over here and make it like this. Place it over here, go to format from shape fill, change this color from shape outline, select no outline. Now what I'll do, select all these three objects, press Ctrl G to group them together. Now our job is to make this hollow circle a transparent one, for this reason from shape fill select no fill from shape outline select no outline then holding the control button we need to select this two and press ctrl g to group them together after that we need to place this object over here and rotate in this way now what i'll do from our previous slide i'll just copy this group of text box here you can see we have already added three different text boxes and we have grouped them together. So this is very simple to add. I'll just copy, press Ctrl C to copy and press Ctrl V to paste it over here. Press it here in the middle and now we can go forward to the animation part. So to animate this object first, select this one, go to animation, click on animation pane. From here we can look over animation status to add the first animation on it. From add animation, select spin. Here you can see this particular object is spinning 360 degree. I'll keep this on click duration 1.25 second, click on this drop down arrow, go to effect option. From here click on this drop down arrow and here we need to set it 155 degree clockwise and press ok. Then to add the color changing animations on this first 5 objects, select the first one from add animation under emphasis, select object color here you can see the color is changing what i'll do from effect option i'll set a different color from here i'll set start with previous duration 0.25 second and select the second one we need to do the same from add animation select object color from effect option change the color set a start with previous Set the duration 0.25 second and increase the delay to 0.25 second. 
select the third one do the same from add animation select object color from effect option change the color set start with previous duration 0.25 second increase the delay 0.25 second more here you can see we are using the same process again and again so to save your time you can use animation painter tool which we use to copy and paste the same animation on a different object but in this video i'm not using the animation painter tool because i think if i go step by step it will provide you a better understanding so that's the reason i'm just doing the same process i'm just repeating the same thing again and again you just need to remember after adding the animation here you need to set a start with previous make the duration 0.25 second and increase the delay a bit after that select this group of text box from add animation select float in set a start after previous duration 0.50 second and we are done with the first animation block what i'll do select all of these press ctrl d to duplicate bring it to here press ctrl d again and we'll have something like this press ctrl a to select all of them and make sure these are in the middle of our powerpoint slide as we have duplicated these objects here you can see in the animation pane we have got the animations also but you know we have to make some changes over here because the data will be different suppose in this second animation block you want to add the animation only on these first four objects but here we have already added the animation on the on the first five objects so what we can do from the animation pane we can delete the fifth animation that we have added just select and press the delete button from your keyboard now another thing we need to change which is the animation color so select the first one from effect option i'll set this color select the second one from effect option change the color this is very simple just select the animation and from effect option you need to change the color that you are going to use after you change all the color what you need to do you need to adjust the degree of this spin so select the this animation as this time it has to spin less decrease the duration a bit from effect option we need to decrease the degree also so here i will set 125 degree this time but this number can vary according to your purpose you know now if you start the slideshow you can see our second object is working perfectly now to add the animation on this third block we want to animate only the first three so i will just delete the last two animation and then to change the animation color of these three objects select the first one from effect option change the color select the second one do the same from effect option change the color this is very simple and I think you will not face any problem over here. So after changing all these animation color, what you need to do, select this spin animation, decrease the duration a bit more. Click on this drop down arrow, go to effect option. We need to de decrease the degree also. Here I will set 95 degree and press OK. We're almost done now what i'll do from our previous slide i'll just copy this upper portion press ctrl c to copy and press ctrl v to paste and we are done now if you start the slideshow you can see our animation is going on very smoothly and it is looking great i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial if you then make sure you give a like for this video and as always we have already provided the download link of this template in the description of this video so check it now and if you are new to this channel make sure you subscribe share this video with your friend don't forget to click on the bell icon to get time to time notification from this channel hope to see you in the next one and thanks for watching